Hey guys, Ben Tannehill here. I just wanted to let you know the following video includes mentions of Christianity that might be offensive to some viewers. Please note that I have nothing against Christianity, and just because you're Christian doesn't mean you're a bad person. I have several Christian friends who are some of the nicest people I've ever met, so I know it's not the religion that's the issue. The issue is the people who use their religion as an excuse to disrespect others, and that's going to be a common theme in this video. Thank you, and have a good time. Hi, I'm Ben T. Looney, and I'm part of this complete breakfast. As you know, I'm back to making videos. And you know this because I've been making videos since last month, and I won't shut up about it. The point is, a lot of things have changed since I last made videos, and I would really love to tear apart the recent projects of my old foes, Seth MacFarlane and Am Sandler. But your old Uncle Benny has matured while he was away, and I realize that as much as I rip on those two, they're still artists, and they deserve to exist and do what they enjoy doing. No, folks, today, I'm fighting the real enemy. That's right. It's been two and a half years since I had my last battle with one million moms, and while I was away, they were going around still barking at the media, trying to ruin the work of hard-working artists, and still complain about problems that won't affect their children in any way, yet they act like it will. Looks like I better make up for lost time. So, get ready for the second war. Here's my second rant on One Million Moms. In June of this year, the United States Supreme Court ruled same-sex marriage to be legal in all 50 states. Hey, it's 45 years overdue, but it's good to see equal rights finally being recognized. So, now that same-sex marriage is finally legalized in the land of the free and the home of the brave, does this mean One Million Moms are finally going to wake up and realize that homosexuality is okay? Truck no! They're still complaining! And this one is a big example of that. This company joins the Christian bashers. The latest assault on Christian values comes from a company you'd never guess. Frito Lay designed Doritos Rainbows chips along with a rainbow colored bag, all for the cause of promoting homosexuality. The rainbow colored chips will be mailed to anyone who gives $10 or more to the LGBT It Gets Better Project Youth Initiative. The organization was started by the notorious anti-Christian extremist Dan Savage. Not only is free to lay promoting homosexuality among teens, but it is backing the agenda of one of the most anti-Christian bullies in America. Frito-Lay knows very well that by doing so, it is condoning open hatred and animosity towards people of faith, especially Christians. By making Dorito rainbows, the company is showing its true colors. Chips. You moms are complaining about chips. There are children starving in the streets, and you're witching about chips. What wonderful mothers you are! Okay, so other than complaining about the chips, they complain because people who donate to the It Gets Better movement get a bag of rainbow Doritos, and the mothers call that Christian bashing. How? Oh, because the movement is run by Dan Savage, an evil, despicable guy who licked a Christian leader's doorknob, said the Bible was BS, called the Pope a child molester, and told Ben Carson to prove that being gay is a choice. Ooh, how I hate him! Honestly, that's all you got? A guy who's trying to speak up for those who don't have a voice as a bully? Last time I checked, gays weren't walking around beating up straight people, calling them waggots, and trying to prevent them from having basic human rights. I also love how they say he's encouraging homosexuality among teens. You people still think homosexuality is a choice? How jaded are you people? Parenting tip number one. Don't buy rainbow colored chips because they're going to turn your kids gay. Granted, the only way you would get the chips is to donate money to a social movement that homophobic parents probably weren't going to donate money to anyway. But stay away from those rainbow colored chips, parents. 
Here's a post from their Facebook page, which basically means that these crazy mothers are trying to flip off the Constitution that says separation of church and state in order to make the laws follow the laws of the Bible. First of all, have you people read the Bible? It's full of incest, rape, murder, racism, sexism, a woman who gets turned into salt, a talking donkey, a talking rock, unicorns, and a zombie. You expect us to make this our law book? Of course you do, because as you know, the founders of this country were such God-fearing Christians, like Thomas Jefferson, who said, Christianity is, nor ever was, part of the common law. Or Ben Franklin, who said, The way to see by faith is to shut the eye of reason. What about Thomas Paine, who said, Belief in a cruel God makes a cruel man. And finally, my man Abe Lincoln, who said, the Bible is not my book, and Christianity is not my religion. So, when was America a Christian nation again? Parenting tip number two. Teach your kids only the history you agree with. We can't teach them the facts. That'll scare them. Hardee's and Carl's Jr. shows no respect for women. Will Hardy's ever learn? They're at it again with another disgusting ad. Their current sensual ad follows the pattern set by their last commercial featuring girls in skimpy shorts playing in a volleyball game. These ads are extremely degrading to women and should be pulled off the air immediately. The restaurant's most recent ad shows scantily clad models licking sauce in provocative poses. One million moms has had enough with CKE soft porn ads. We will professionally but sternly let them know we are not giving up on protecting our families. Okay, remind me again how women being in sexy clothes is demeaning or disrespectful to them? Didn't you mothers ever think, oh, I don't know, women want to do that? It's not like the Hardee's Corporation is driving to these girls' homes, putting a gun up to their heads, and saying, Hey, you're gonna be in sexy ads promoting 1,000 calorie fast food. No, the women in these ads are most likely models who wanted to appear in these commercials. Because, hey, that's what they're paid to do! You know, rather than complaining about trucking commercials for burgers, maybe you should count your blessings and be happy we live in a first world country where women are free to dress however they want. Parenting tip number three. If your little girl ever wants to grow up to be a bikini model, you slap her right across the face and say, No, you can't be something that's so demeaning to your gender. How dare you have hopes and dreams? What country do you think this is? Now, go back up to your room and study to be a doctor. But mommy, I'm squeamish. Be what I want you to be, dang it! Marriage equals one man and one woman. Everybody, let's point and laugh at the morons. Ha 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 ha. You mothers are the equivalent of the little kid in the grocery store who won't get any candy. So they just fall to the floor and cry because they're not getting what they want. I can't believe this! How literal are you going to take the holy book? Heck, why not go farther? Why not protest Red Lobster for selling shellfish? Why not killing anybody who works on Sundays? Oh, best shit! Why not stone women for speaking out of term? Look guys! Women who are speaking out of term! Get your stones ready! Parenting tip number four. Homosexuality is a sin. That's about it. It's better to walk alone than walk with a crowd going the wrong direction. Please tell me I'm not the only one who sees the irony in this post. While I was away, Boondocks creator Aaron McGruber made a new show for Adult Swim called Black Jesus that is about Jesus coming back in modern day Compton. I haven't seen much of it, but based on the few clips I saw, it's a pretty clever show as it's got McGruber's biting satire to it. And Jesus is portrayed exactly how he would be portrayed in that situation. Honestly, the only bad thing I can say about it is that it's a live action show airing on Cartoon Network. But that's not the show's fault. Let's see what the mothers have to say about it. The late night programming on Cartoon Network known as Adult Swim has decided to continue airing the non-animated show Black Jesus. The show makes a mockery of our Lord and Savior. The foul language is used, including the Lord's name in vain, is disgusting. In addition, there is violence, gunfire, drugs, excessive alcohol consumption, and other inappropriate content. 
The sacrilegious black Jesus is airing on Friday evenings at 11 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Central, with an M.A.L. rating. This show presents blasphemy! Adult Swim is obviously not a family network, and this program airs later in the evening when children should be asleep, but that is no excuse. Adult Swim has crossed the line by belittling the Christian religion with foul jokes. Black Jesus is another attempt to distort the truth about Christianity. There is power in numbers. Please share this with everyone you know. Do I even need to say anything? I'm convinced these mothers are time travelers from the 50s who are so out of touch with reality that every little thing offends them. They're complaining about a show that they say is offensive to Jesus, which it's not. So, unless him being black is offensive to them, then I guess they're racist on top of being homophobic. And it's a show that's on so late at night that the kids of these parents are probably in bed by 8 o'clock, so they wouldn't even be able to see it anyway. And the friggin' channel is called Adult Swim! So the show wasn't even made for kids in the first trucking place! Parenting tip number five. Jesus is white. I don't care what you historians who try to claim Jesus is black say. Jesus is white. It doesn't matter if he came from Ira Arabia Stan. He's white! And if it's a channel called Adult Swim, that means it's for kids and we have to complain about it. We're such great mothers! STUPID! YOU'RE SO STUPID! Uh, that's it. That's all I can handle from these crazy mothers. The last thing I will say is, if these mothers spend more time being mothers instead of complaining about spit that nobody cares about, their kids would be just fine. This is just a group of mothers who are sheltering their children from the outside world and expect the TV to be the parent for them. Well, with creativity, there's controversy, and with controversy, there's going to be critics who are going to be offended by your work and try to get it removed. The best you can do is ignore them and keep trucking, because all they can do is complain, and that's what One Million Moms does best. I'm Ben T. Looney, and I'm signing out. I'll be back to reviewing cartoons in January. So, which one will I be reviewing when I come back? children not to walk my way tell your children not to hear my word heck why not go farther why not start protesting red lobster for shelling <laughs> shelling why not protest red lobster for shit dag damn it i did it again <laughs>